beta brain waves are slower than alpha brain waves and they're faster than delta brain waves. Theta brain waves come from multiple sources in the brain. Um, they have a frequency range of four to seven cycles per second. And there are many, many things that can produce theta. For example, stage one of sleep and stage two of sleep are characterized by theta. But if you've ever had a head injury, the scar tissue will produce theta waves. Uh, before the advent of uh, CAT scans and MRIs, uh, EEG recordings were the only way to detect uh, non-invasively cancers in the brain because a cancer in the brain will produce theta waves. So theta waves are also seen in the highest quality orgasms. Uh, alpha is characteristic of your run-of-the-mill orgasm, but in the very highest quality ones, a low frequency theta wave circulates around the head. Theta waves are also seen in Zen meditation, but only in advanced meditators. In beginning Zen meditators, you see alpha at the back of the head, zero to six years. Six to 21 years, the alpha spreads forward on the head. And 21 years and more in Zen practice in Japan, you get theta waves emerging from the frontal locations and a bit of a slowing in the frequency of the alpha. So theta waves are characteristic of the hypnagogic imagery when you're going into sleep and the hypnopompic imagery when you're coming out of sleep. So theta wears many hats. Theta is deep. There's mystical theta, which will give you phantasmagorial imagery and access to the Akashic records. And there's also drowsy sleepy theta, which helps you fall asleep. So theta wears many hats. We particularly like the mystical theta which gives people access to the Akashic records and energetic database of all knowledge that was, is, and ever will be. Yay, Theta. Hi, I'm Tony Robbins. Listen, if you are looking to improve your brain, your psyche, your ability, your emotions, your ability to really maximize your performance, um, and you want to really dig into your brain, my dear, my dear friend, Dr. Jim Hart and his BioCyberNet program is extraordinary. I've been through it myself. My wife Sage has, members of my family have, and we found it to be truly extraordinary. But it is not for the faint at heart. Unless you're dead serious about really taking things to the next level, don't bother. We went through the Alpha program designed to maximize your ability to have create Alpha waves, and it was challenging and it was incredibly rewarding. And I'd recommend it to anybody serious about improving the quality of their lives or including the quality of their family lives as well. So check out Cybernaut, check out Dr. Jim Hart. And uh, if you do, I think you'll be really, really pleased. And the entire time you are learning to think and how you think the, these electrodes create sounds. And you learn how to put yourself in the zone of alpha. But it's a bitch. It's horrible. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody that wants easy experiences. But I'd recommend it to anybody that wants to grow immensely. And by the, and the first day, I'm like, who do I got to shoot to get out of this thing? Oh, it's me. I'm the one that did this shit. <laughs> right? But by the end of the week, all three of us we're able to go into this state of alpha. And if you're familiar with alpha, the best way I can describe alpha is there's no problem that can't be solved in alpha. Because every problem that we have was created by us. Thank you for being here and absorbing this information about the science of brainwaves and about the stories of people whose lives have been beneficially altered, improved by doing brainwave training at BioCyberNet. And now I'm reaching out to you to invite you to come and be a part of the BioCybernaut adventure. BioCybernauts are to inner space what astronauts are to outer space. So come and adventure with us. And if you'd like to leave a comment on the videos, you can do that. Or there's a link you can click if you'd like to learn more. We welcome you to BioCybernauts.